Well, friends, it's becoming pretty clear why Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has been working overtime to help Donald Trump return to power. Because it looks like he, Clarence Thomas, might be needing one of those Trump pardons in the not too distant future. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, it looks like Democratic lawmakers in Congress have had just about enough of the conflict and the corruption and the lawlessness of Supreme Court Justices Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito. Here are three breaking news stories about the absolute rot at the top of our judicial branch of government. The first story is from the Daily Beast. Headline, Clarence Thomas took free yacht trip to Russia, chopper flight to Putin's hometown. And that article reads in part, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has been accused of not disclosing a yacht trip to Russia and a private helicopter flight to a palace in President Vladimir Putin's hometown among a slew of other gifts and loans from businessman Harlan Crow. The list of potentially secret gifts Thomas accepted also includes a loan of more than $267,000 provided by Thomas's close friend Anthony Welters together with the yacht trip to Russia, the helicopter ride to St. Petersburg. ProPublica first reported last year on the existence of extensive undisclosed gifts and lavish trips from Crow. But wait, friends, there's more. Additionally, Justice Thomas is accused of not disclosing tuitions for his grandnephew, free lodging, real estate transactions, and home renovations. So apparently fed up with the unchecked corruption of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. This from the Washington Post. Headline, Democratic lawmakers seek criminal investigation of Justice Thomas. And that article begins, two Democratic U.S. Senators announced Tuesday that they are seeking a criminal investigation of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas over gifts of travel, a loan for a recreational vehicle, and other benefits he received from wealthy benefactors. Senators Sheldon Whitehouse and Ron Wyden said they sent a letter to Attorney General Merrick Garland last week requesting he appoint a special counsel to probe whether Thomas violated ethics false statement, and tax laws. The action marks a significant escalation in efforts by Democratic senators to address ethics controversies related to Thomas and the court in recent years. White House's staff said it was likely the first time anyone had requested a special counsel investigate a Supreme Court justice. White House sits on the Senate Judiciary Committee while Wyden chairs the Senate Finance Committee. And friends, here's the third breaking news story in what feels like a hat trick of an attempt to fight corruption on the Supreme Court. This from CNN. Headline, Ocasio-Cortez introduces articles of impeachment against Supreme Court Justices Thomas and Alito. And that article begins. Democratic Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez of New York has introduced articles of impeachment against conservative Supreme Court Justices Samuel Alito and Clarence Thomas over their failure to disclose gifts they have received while serving on the court, a messaging move that will surely fail in the GOP-controlled 
House. Quote, Justices Thomas and Alito's repeated failure over decades to disclose that they received millions of dollars in gifts from individuals with business before the court is explicitly against the law, Ocasio-Cortez said in a statement. And their refusal to recuse from the specific matters and cases before the court in which their benefactors and spouses are implicated represents nothing less than a constitutional crisis. Congress has a legal, moral, and democratic obligation to impeach, she said. It's about damn time that somebody did something about the rot at the top, the corruption on the court. You know, we've heard for too long now about how Thomas and Alito failed to comply with the federal financial disclosure laws. And let me ask you this, friends. Do you really think that Thomas and Alito declined to put all of these lavish gifts and these valuable in-kind donations from Republican millionaires and billionaires that came flowing into them. They failed to put it on their financial disclosure forms, but they reported it all on their tax forms and, you know, paid all tax that was due to the federal government. No, they should be investigated for possible violations of federal financial disclosure laws, of federal tax laws, of conflict of interest laws. And you know what? Bribery, anyone? I mean, this is why we need to have criminal investigations. And I hope Merrick Garland appoints special counsel to investigate the suspected crimes of Supreme Court Justices Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito, because goodness knows Chief Justice Roberts just kind of buries his head in the sand, does absolutely nothing to act as a check on the crime and corruption and conflict that appears to be rampant right under his nose at the Supreme Court. For gosh sakes, he wouldn't even put a mandatory code of ethics in place. Think about it, friends. I was a Fed for more than 30 years. I don't know of any other federal government employees or officials who get to operate in an ethics-free zone. They can do whatever they damn well please. Take all of the gifts and in-kind donations. You know, somebody can just buy your mother's house. Somebody can give you an RV of course, loan you the money for it, and then forgive the loan. All good, no reporting requirements, no tax implications, and no code of ethics. No mandatory code of ethics on Supreme Court justices. Is it any wonder that the Thomases and the Alitos of the world are comfortable, happy even, to take advantage of the fact that there are no ethical rules that constrain the lavish gifts they're allowed to take, including from people who ultimately have business before the court. Like I say, it's about damn time that something is done about it. Exposing these abuses by Thomas and Alito was an important start. Special counsel to conduct a criminal investigation into the conduct of Thomas and Alito is a really good second step, and articles of impeachment are absolutely warranted. Whether they end up being successful or not is almost beside the point. I think back to what I used to tell my federal homicide prosecutors when I was chief of homicide. I said, you know, if you have enough evidence to bring a case, you need to bring a case, because it's more important to try righteous cases than to win cases. The same holds true of articles of impeachment. The same holds true of criminal investigations. If there's enough evidence, you pursue them. If there 
have been the kind of abuses by judges and justices that warrant articles of impeachment. You don't say, yeah, but they're unlikely to be successful. That doesn't matter. Checks, balances, the way you check crime, corruption, conflict, abuse on the court is to try to impeach those who are engaged in that conduct, like Clarence Thomas and Justice Alito. Win, lose, or draw. Investigations and impeachment need to be pursued if the evidence supports them. Because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.